the in quotes ignorant man who made a fortune during the first world war a chicago newspaper published certain editorials in which among other statements henry ford was called an ignorant pacifist mr ford objected to the statements and brought suit against the paper for libeling him l-i-b-e-l libeling when the suit was tried in the courts the attorneys for the paper pleaded justification and placed Mr. Ford himself on the witness stand for the purpose of proving to the jury that he was ignorant. The, attorney, the attorneys asked Mr. Ford a great variety of questions, all of them intended to prove by his own evidence that while he might possess considerable specialized knowledge pertaining to the manufacture of automobiles, he was in the main ignorant. Mr. Ford was plied with such questions as the following. Who was Benedict Arnold and how many soldiers did the British send over to America to put down the rebellion of 1776 and in answer to the last question mr ford replied i do not know the exact number of soldiers the british sent over but i've heard that it was a considerably large number than ever went back finally mr ford became tired of this line of questioning and in reply to a particularly offensive question he leaned over pointed his finger at the lawyer who had asked the question and said if i should really want to answer the fullest question you have just asked or any of the other questions you have been asking me let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk, and by pushing the right button, I can summon to my aid men who can answer any question I desire to ask concerning the business to which I am devoting most of my efforts. Now, will you kindly tell me why I should clutter up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer questions when I have men around me who can supply any knowledge I require? There certainly was good logic to that reply. That answer flooded the lawyer. Every person in the courtroom realized it was the answer, not of an ignorant man, but of a man of education. Any man is educated who knows where to get knowledge when he needs it, and how to recognize that knowledge into definite plans of action. Through the assistance of his mastermind group, Henry Ford had at his command all the specialized knowledge he needed to enable him to become one of the wealthiest men in America. It was not essential that he have this knowledge in his own mind. It was not essential that he have this knowledge in his own mind. Nice.